Do you guys get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Hi, it's Jazzy Ann, and welcome back, Snacks. I'm just looking at my schedule for this week. Literally, what? Oh my, oh my Let me let you in on a little bit of tea. I don't want my professor to see this, but during my arts and media class, the class I was just in, it's only an hour long and it's once a week. And it's a project-based class, so like the work that matters the most is the work I do outside of class. So while I'm in that class, I always plan my week. I don't pay attention. I'm just looking at my planner right now. I chose a really good week to film my week. I have a lot of sh One of the biggest questions I get asked on a regular basis is how I manage schoolwork and YouTube and keep up my grades. And that's a really great question because I still am figuring it out. But this is what works for me. Every Monday, I go ahead and I take my planner and I write down everything that I need to do. So I'll go ahead and I'll write down what days I have classes and what time they're at. I also highlight which classes are in person because not all of my classes are in person. And then I'll also write down... And then... <laughs> there's, so many, there's so many people walking in and out. I'm getting so self-conscious. Then I'll also write down like what homework is expected of me to get due that week and what exams and quizzes I might have. On top of that, I also write down what day I'm planning on filming and anything on the side that is necessary. For example, I have a birthday dinner to go to tonight. I have a call with someone really important on Wednesday. So this helps me out immensely. And I do that for every single week, which sounds overwhelming, but it is actually more overwhelming for me if I don't write everything down and I just try to keep it in my head. Like that makes absolutely no sense. How the crap would I keep all that organized? I also go into my notes app and I write down a general itinerary for every day of the week. So here's an example. I literally write down like wake up, eat breakfast, because you gotta make time for that. Even though I do make a pretty specific itinerary, always keep in mind that things will probably change yeah, it's a lot, but it, oh my frick. Okay, I love downtown. I love it. Whenever I talk about it out loud and like show what I do, I feel like it sounds like a lot. It's really not. It takes me like an hour to plan out my whole week. Oh my God. Okay, we got another big ass truck coming. They always smell so bad. And now that I'm a college student and I'm experiencing a more normal, here. Something I've learned is that you have a lot more freedom to spend your time doing what you want to do. Like a lot of classes don't take attendance, so you don't have to go to class if that doesn't matter to you. The same thing with the friends and the people that you surround yourself with. You have a lot more freedom to choose what kind of people you want to hang out with and what kind of people you want to be friends with. It's just like, it's a lot more to think about and consider. Yeah. I don't really have like a solution or like anything else to say about it, but it's just like something that I've realized recently a lot. <laughs> Who the F? Is that awkward? Okay, basically, Moody College School of Communication, where I'm a film major, wants me to help encourage students to wear masks indoors so we can keep our classes in person. So, yeah. Masks up. Masks up. Bye! I'm on my way to go get dinner with Miranda and her friends for Miranda's birthday. We are in a rush. I am carpooling. I'm in charge of picking up Gabe and Catherine. So, I will see you in a second. This lighting is so bad. Oh my god, this lighting is so bad. Do you guys like my earrings? Birthday to you. Okay, but does nobody else ever know how to act whenever someone sings happy birthday to them? Eat, eat, eat. She's okay, that girl right now. Boom, boom. But just say they can't mm -hmm. trust me. Boom, boom. <laughs> do y'all oh. see, see the city? Look at, look at that tree over there. Austin. That is it for me, Austin.
I never got to show my fit because I was in such a rush. But here's my fit for the night. We got the cute little white booties. This top is actually a form-fitting dress that I tuck into my pants. The dress is from Urban. The pants are Levi's. These boots, I think I literally got them from Amazon. And my earrings I thrifted. I had a lot of fun with Miranda and catching up with everyone. Today's literally Monday. It feels like a whole week has passed by. There is just so, so much today. It doesn't get better tomorrow. I have a test tomorrow actually, but I think it'll be okay because I really like the class and I've been paying very good attention. Like I've noticed that like I'm paying better attention in class than I usually do. So I try to keep every morning generally the same. It helps me a lot if I have some kind of go-to routine. Oh, these ice cubes are not ready. Oopsies. Sorry. I just want a cold water. Skylar put this on my door this morning. And now my entire routine is thrown off. Thanks so much, Skylar. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Skylar. I've gotten in the habit of drinking water as soon as I wake up. Cause like, I'm sleeping for eight hours and I don't drink water for eight hours. Like my body needs water. Drinking water in the morning makes such a difference. <laughs> Okay, I have an exam today, so today is really chill. Just wearing the basics. Yeah. I've got a vision so clear in my head. It's a strange kind of prison. Well, it is and it isn't. I just finished watching this documentary in my film class. It's called Speed. Cubers. It's literally about like the national championship of solving a Rubik's Cube and like how fast people can solve it and stuff. Based off of the title, I did not expect to be so invested. I wanted to cry. It's so sweet. It's so good. I would recommend anyone to watch it. It's only like 30 minutes. This is the last required film class I have to take. Once I finish this semester, from now on, I get to choose the film classes that I'll take. So I'll get to take classes and focus on like the like parts of film that I want to focus on. But right now we are studying like sound and image and how that kind of fits into to documentary. So we're actually like making a three minute documentary right now. So I'm going to be filming that tomorrow and you'll get to see me doing that for class. I'm meeting up with some of my class friends to take my first exam in my class, Perspectives of Deafness. It's basically a culture class because I'm taking American Sign Language for my foreign language credit, but I have to take this culture class to get the credit. So I'm doing that first, and then next semester, I'm gonna take American Sign Language. It's the beauty of the Okay, I've never been to this side of campus before. I forget how big our campus is. What the crap? I'm gonna be 100% um, honest, I got a 75 on my test. I'm not that upset, I got around the average and now that I know what the test structure is like, I know I can do a lot better because now I know how to study for it. Actually, after we took the test, there were a few questions that were added back. So my grade got changed to an 84, which I think is a lot better. So I'm happy. I look so forward to walking home from class by myself with my AirPods in playing good ass music I'm just chilling and just like thinking and just like looking around it's one of my favorite parts of my day Ooh, okay also while we're at it since i'm here let me show you a really really historical and important landmark of ut so it's called the balls of ut because there are these random balls here and then if you look from a corner it looks like 
A penis. Oh my God. Isn't that so funny? Okay, Caldwell and I, we just had dinner, not together. Not together. We both have a very busy week. And it's a Tuesday night. What better way than to spend it by literally going to the library to do work? Guys, I got blue wing lemon. I got blue wing lemon. <laughs> Something stinky. <laughs> so right now I'm working on my shot concept form for my film class. So I interviewed my partner. Now I'm going through the footage and I'm trying to come up with like shot ideas to put in between uh, the interview clips. We're about to run home in the rain. I look so stupid because my hair. It's like 12.30 now. Um, we spent about like four hours studying, but it was good. We got, we both got work we done. We got so much done. So and productive. I'm ready to go home. This is fun. Wait, is it though? I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> wait, this is kind of magical, like Loki, like. <laughs> Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. Wait, I have to catch up with him now. I just wanted to get that shot. So we just ran in the rain and walked past this like random couple canoodling outside of an apartment. It's like 1.30, <laughs> it just became Wednesday. That was like the last thing I needed to see coming back from the library. Like that's not what I wanted or needed. Good morning. Good morning. Reminiscing this and that and having such a good time. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. It is. 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I did not just wake up. That's not what's happening here. So every Wednesday, I don't have class because then every Wednesday, I have the opportunity to film for the following week. For example, I just filmed my apartment tour. That's gonna go up this Friday. And then the video I'm filming right now is gonna go up next Friday. Gabe came over, he helped me film. You guys know Gabe, he's been in a few videos. So yeah, that's why I didn't film any of it because I literally woke up, cleaned the apartment, got ready, and then started filming. But we got it done! I'm happy, I'm excited to edit the video. For the rest of today, I'm gonna go meet up with my film partner for my film project, for my film class. I'm a film major, guys. I don't know if I ever explained what the project is. Basically, my partner Maddie and I, we interviewed each other. Based off of that interview, we have to make a three minute documentary, but our project is focusing on sound. So we have to incorporate natural sound and like fully stuff so maddie was a big baton twirler in high school so that's what i interviewed her over so maddie interviewed me over competitive swimming because i used to be a huge competitive swimmer when i was a lot younger thank goodness i bought some practice suits here because i'm gonna have to pull up in this i have not worn anything like this in a hot minute Is it weird if if I like hold this like close to you to get the sound? No, okay, perfect. I think it'll be fine. so good to swim in the water. I don't know, a big part of me is like, I want to start training again. Obviously like not as seriously, but I think it would be fun to get back in the pool more often and just like go back and forth and do my thing. I've had a really good day today. It's been a really good day. I filmed, I filmed some more for my film class. I got to swim. I've hung out with my roommates. I'm about to go eat dinner. It's been a really good day today. It's just a float of you, the See. Every morning, I love to flash my tits to the neighborhood building. I just finished taking my weekly quiz for astronomy. I'm packing up my bag. I'm about to go meet up with Caldwell. 
Him and I are gonna go get Chick-fil-A for breakfast and then we're gonna go get our nails done. I haven't gotten my nails done in forever. Okay. Let's go. This is my first time ever trying Chick-fil-A's iced coffee. I got the last vanilla cold brew. The guy was like, I have a little bit of vanilla syrup. I was like, okay, I'll take it. It's good. Honestly, I probably recommend it without the vanilla. So we got Chick-fil-A. My favorite is the burrito, the breakfast burrito with chicken nuts. So Paul was trying it for the first time. Yeah, I usually get the minis, but uh, today to try it. We're just like trying new things today. We like it. painted black more often because why do I feel so amazing and powerful right now? I feel very like emo girl like but I don't mind it I like it. It's really not that deep. I just think that the black is flattering. It's also like spooky for October. Okay so I just dropped Caldwell back at home usually every Tuesday or Thursday Miranda and I like to meet us and we do homework together yeah we do homework together and we hang except we're leaving in like an hour yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're usually really good about focusing and getting our work done, but today we just talked for an hour, but it was fun! So for the rest of the day, I hung out with my roommates, Skylar and Morgan, and then we had dinner. Guys, Skylar and Morgan made breakfast for dinner. That's so cute. You're so cute. Can you do another one of <laughs> <gasps> What was that? And then I um I didn't film anything Friday. I don't really I don't remember what I did or why. I went to class on Friday and then I think that's it. So a lot of my life is presented online and because of this, I've always felt this really weird pressure to make everything seem as exciting as possible. Although there are a lot of exciting things, I think it's unfair to myself to be unrealistic. Sometimes the most exciting thing out of my day is coming home to my roommates and watching a movie. I think that simple things don't get enough credit and there's so much peace in simple things. And I think that's very exciting. It's the beauty of the it's a soft